Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons, and I am back with an update on our run glitch deal from this morning, plus some district manager drama. So, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it's right down below this video, and while you're at it, do your girl a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, and leave me a smile down in the comment section below, because those are two quick, easy, and free ways that y'all can help support this channel, and then take a second to share the video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, I know that a few of you all caught the video this morning on a run glitch deal. We had some ice cream, super, super cheap, um, but I do know that some of you all who are watching this now probably did not catch that video. I have made it private just in until we can figure out what in the world is going on. So basically, we have a sale on the drumstick uh, Nestle ice cream, the Outshine, and the Hagen Doss. They are on sale this week, two for seven dollars, and we have a one off two digital coupon. So this sale is on the products that are priced at four dollars and sixty five cents. So here are a couple of examples we have the Outshine popsicles, we also have the Nestle drumsticks, we have push pops. Uh, a lot of different ice creams are included in this sale which it's still a pretty good deal but this morning and even right now it is 1 p.m eastern standard time in the dollar general app it is showing us these nestle toll house chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches that are normally seven dollars and 75 cents if you add that to your list or to your cart it is applying a sale plus it is also applying kind of like an instant savings deal it's a one-off two um should be a digital coupon but i think it's applying as an instant savings plus we have that one-off two digital coupon so if you add two of those to your list or to your cart it is going to show you that you would pay four dollars for two boxes which is a fantastic freaking deal all right i was really excited about this deal so i threw the video together put it out there for you all and then i myself ran to the store to get in on this deal now i'm not sure what the issue is where the disconnect is um but all of the managers <laughs> are saying the same thing that the dollar general app is ran by a third party uh, entity and they have no control over what the app says which is fine we know that if a price shows up in the dollar general app the employees or the cashiers they do not have to honor that price so uh, kind of long story short is i tried it at a store with the old registers i've tried this deal at self-checkout and i've also went to a store uh, where the new registers and none of the registers are picking up the sale and the coupons. In fact, self-checkout isn't working at all for me. It didn't even apply the sale. These items were still full price. Now, I also tried this deal with the regular sale items that are priced at $4.65. So I picked up some of the Outshine Popsicles as well as the Push Pops because I thought, well, the sale at least is applying to those and the one-off two kind of instant savings that showing up underneath the uh, seven count nestle ice cream sandwiches that is also showing up underneath the popsicles and the ice creams that are supposed to be on sale two for seven so those as well also show up in the app that you're paying four dollars for two boxes so i did try those as well at all three types of registers i could not get it to work at all so just to make a long story short this deal is not working in store as of right now anyways uh, you know things can always change that's for sure um but the only other way that i can think of to get this deal to work is to do it as a pickup order and that is really going to vary from store to store if they will allow you to add this to your cart and do it as a pickup order so try that out from home you guys let me know if anybody can get that to work and y'all can just leave your updates down in the comment section below or you can send me an email whatever is easiest for you now also just a quick heads up uh the district manager was at one of my stores while i was uh, checking out and she did say that you weren't allowed to do pickup orders on refrigerated items now i know that that's not entirely true so i'm not quite sure where she's heard that i also had a pretty interesting conversation with her about digital coupons just in general um, and she was not very receptive to what i had to say about it but you know what 
we're just gonna roll with the punches. And I might talk about this more in another video because I have had several very interesting interactions with uh, some important people, I would say, you know, at least people who are supposed to know what's going on and how things work, like district managers, managers, customer service, you know, all those people who are supposed to keep up with how things are going in their stores. And I by no means am like trying to group everybody together and say that all managers are like this or all district managers are like this. Customer service, if you call the customer service line, they're pretty consistent and they don't know what's going on and they will transfer you and leave you on hold forever. <laughs> uh, but as far as managers and district managers go, um, it's really hit or miss. You know, sometimes you get those people who really care and they want to understand what's going on and, uh, and they're there for the customers and then you have those other types of people that aren't receptive to what you're saying they don't want to hear what you have to say they know everything you know nothing and that is the end of the story with them <laughs> and with those people you kind of just have to shake your head and walk away because you're never going to get anywhere well I ran into uh, one of the district managers here uh, today and uh, it was very interesting to say the least um, I could have taught her a couple of things, but she was not willing to listen to anything. She started telling me how you cannot stack coupons, you can't stack the gain coupon, you cannot stack DG store coupons with manufacturer coupons, and you cannot get overages at Dollar General any longer. And um, I tried to kind of, you know, engage in the conversation. Her big thing today that she was hung up on was the five off twenty-five dollar coupons for Saturday. So her little spiel was that you can have a fifty dollar transaction if you have thirty dollars worth of manufacturer coupons, and that knocks your subtotal below the twenty-five dollar mark. You are not going to get that five off twenty-five dollar coupon to apply. So. We all know here on the Crazy Coupons YouTube channel that you can get your subtotal under the $25 mark and then that 5 off 25 will still apply. Now, there are some common errors that people make and I have went over those in the past um, and I was going to explain that to her, but she was dead set. She was like, oh, no, no, you have to subtract all of your coupons and then your subtotal still has to be $25 in order for your file 25 to work. I've been in this game for way too many years to know that that is just not the case. And um, I was going to try to explain a couple of things to her, some common mistakes, but she wasn't having any of it. She knew it. This is how it is. And that's the end of the story. So there's a little DM drama for you all. And that just goes to show you once again that the employees and the managers and even the district managers do not always know what they're talking about. And topping off what really makes me laugh because I do get aggravated in these types of situations because I know that that district manager is going to be training managers and employees and she's going to tell them the wrong way to do things. All right. So that really aggravates me. But at the same time, I have to laugh because there have been so many Dollar General employees email me and say, I have learned more from your YouTube channel from watching it just a few weeks. I've learned more from you than I have from working at Dollar General for the past three years. So it's those emails that uh, keep me calm and make me laugh during these types of situations because at least I know for sure there are employees out there who are learning the right way and um, are informed on how Dollar General couponing really works. So I'm not going to keep you all much longer. There's the update on the glitch. Uh, try it out as a pickup order. Let me know if you guys get that to go through at all for you. And your daily dose of Dollar General District Manager drama. <laughs> and again, I might throw together a couple more videos talking about some DG drama, some experiences and conversations that I have had while couponing at Dollar General. And of course, y'all make sure that you stay tuned. I already have a couple of really detailed tutorial type videos going over file off $25 scenarios and also gain deals and how to stack coupons. So that is coming soon y'all. And also don't forget I have already uploaded the new coupons and glitches video earlier today so make sure that you check that out. We do have some more 
coupon glitches going on at Dollar General right now. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a smile down in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for me for now, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next one.